Welcome back to the Tech Twins. I'm Mark, and today I have a special guest, someone who did one of the most prestigious and selective internship programs in Silicon Valley, the KPCB Fellows Program. So Avantika, could you please introduce yourself? Of course. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me here today. Um, my name is Avantika, and I'm currently a rising junior here at Cal. Go Bears. <laughs> and I'm currently pursuing a dual degree in electrical engineering, computer science, and business administration through the UC Berkeley MET program. So I was a KPCB fellow this past summer, 2019, at a company called Shape Security. And so could you tell us more about what is the KPCB Fellows Program? Of course. So Kleiner Perkins is a VC. It's a venture capital firm. And what a VC does is basically invest in a lot of portfolio companies and, you know, help incubate them and grow them. So Kleiner Perkins has this unique portfolio of companies. I'm sure you've heard of companies like Google, Slack, <laughs> Twitter, Uber. So they invest in really high growth unicorn startups in the Silicon Valley. And they look for people in design, engineering, and product to come and work at these companies and really make an impact. So the internship itself, it is an internship for engineering and design fellows, and it is a 12 week internship, like a standard internship. However, you also get this added benefit of having Kleiner Perkins kind of support you along the way and give you all this unique mentorship opportunities. You're also in a startup company and you're gonna meet with other people in your cohort who are at other companies under the KP portfolio. So you do a lot of events together and overall it's a very unique experience to be in the Silicon Valley around talented people from around the world. Awesome. Could you tell us a little bit more about the experience actually doing the KP Fellows program? Of course. So I'd say you can break it down into four or five different segments over the summer, and you can also break it down into the professional and fun side of things. So to start off, it's basically a 12-week internship at a startup company. So you actually go ahead and directly start with your company, and this can start anywhere at the end of May, beginning of June, depending on your school. Again, we have fellows from schools with the semester system and the quarter system. Now, once you start your internship, you start hearing about the first KP event, which is the meetup. And that's where you meet all the other fellows in the program and you also get your Patagonias. So <laughs> that's super fun. Important. I know, right? <laughs> and at that same event, you'll actually meet with key investors and key CEOs. So we met with Dylan Field. He's the CEO of Figma, which is a collaborative design software. And basically he was a Kleiner Perkins fellow back in 2013. So it was really inspiring to hear his story as a fellow and how he transitioned into creating his own startup. And we also met with partners like Mamoon Hamid, um, Annie Case, who's Steve Case's daughter, and other really well-known people in the industry. And then you mentioned there's a fun side of things as well. So could you go into that? For sure. So of course, apart from the professional side of things, you also get invited to events like paintball, um, House of Air, which is this big trampoline park in San Francisco. Um, sailing, sailing is super fun. So sailing actually happens towards the end of the summer. That's when um, all the fellows are kind of wrapping up their internships. People are starting to head back to school. There's a chance for all the fellows to kind of reunite with all the other fellows in the program. You know, there are around 60 or 70 of us in different disciplines. And you get to basically talk about your experience over summer and just have this like four hour sailing trip together. So it's a really cool bonding experience and it's also like a goodbye trip. So I'd say one of the highlights of the program personally for me was the KP Women Leaders Conference. So again, Kleiner Perkins, the engineering fellows program is really cool because it actually strives for diversity in gender. So there's a lot of females in the program as well. And this Women Leaders Conference is basically an invite only event for female engineering fellows and design fellows. And we get to meet with other female executives in Silicon Valley. So I got to meet with, you know, executives at Slack, DocuSign, Figma, Salesforce. So it's a really cool event where you can kind of connect with other female leaders in the industry and learn, you know, what it takes to kind of get there. And overall, it's very empowering to see where other women have gotten in their career paths. And Sarah Fryer, who's the CEO of Nextdoor, came and talked to us about her experience and how she ended up leading this wonderful company. And I think overall, there was a lot to take away from that event. What's one thing that you took away that maybe you want to share? Definitely, I'd say like the whole entrepreneurial path can seem pretty intimidating coming from, you know, Silicon Valley, where you see all these like high growth companies. You know, it's a very male dominated industry as of right now. So just seeing all these women making an impact in the community, they're not just females who want to be up there and make money, but rather they're really 
um, passionate about making an impact on society. So just getting that aspect of it and seeing the human side of them was really humbling. Awesome. And how can someone apply to this program? I know it's extremely competitive. So could you go into what are some tips that you have for people to stand out? As right. Well? So I know this is the meat of this conversation <laughs> where you all want to hear about the application process and the selection process. So I'll get into that. So the application deadline is on October 6th this year, 2019. And they have three different programs, as I said, the Design, Engineering, and the Product Fellows Program. The Design and Engineering Fellows Program is open for undergraduates only who are not graduating. So again, this is a 12-week internship in the Design and Engineering Fellows Program. Uh, for Product Fellows, however, it is for graduating seniors or MBA students who want to do like a one-year fellowship and then maybe move on to do a full-time role at the company. In terms of application process, each component has its own style of application. So the design application has a design challenge. The engineering application has this coding project that you do. And then the product um, application also has a product challenge. Now, I really recommend doing these challenges even though the application says it's optional. Now, think about this. There are around 3,000 to 4,000 people applying to the KPCB Fellows Program from around the country and in other parts of the world like Canada. So you really wanna stand out and show why you're really interested in this program. So one part of it is doing those challenges and really showing off your capabilities and technical skills. Now, there's also an essay component, which is all about impact and what you wanna do for the world. And I think that's a really important essay that you wanna put a lot of thought into. Um, again, KPCB is looking for scrappy, entrepreneurial-minded people, but at the same time, they're not looking for people who just wanna start a company and get rich in the future. It's more people who wanna make a change in the world and actually make a positive impact. So I'd say put a lot of thought into that and also emphasize your entrepreneurial side of things. And then in terms of application process, you first apply um, and then maybe in a month you'll hear back from PP. This is when all the applicants get filtered into the semifinalists. So there are about 3,000, 4,000 applicants and then they filter it down to around 200 or 300 semifinalists. And at the semifinalist round, any of the portfolio companies will actually interview you and determine if you're a good fit for the finalist round. So again, you have no say in the company that interviews you. It could be any company in their portfolio. And once you make it past the semi-finalist round, they filter it down to 100 finalists. And at the finalist round, that's when you get to choose seven companies that you'd want to work at. So you have this option to ch choose any of the companies from their portfolio based on what they're hiring for. And those companies can reach out to you. So you can get from anywhere from zero to seven interviews wow. from those companies. So some people, after making the finalist stage, they may not get an interview from any of these seven companies. Um, and some people might get an interview from all seven. So it really depends. And each company has their own interview process. So it might be a slightly accelerated process because you are a pre-filtered candidate, but you still have to go through you know, their own coding challenge, their own um, behavioral interview, et cetera. So overall, it's maybe a three-step process with the addition of multiple steps from each company that you interview with. But you definitely find that you're gonna be at a high growth company making an impact in a very small sized setting. And what I really enjoyed about the program, especially at Shape, was the fact that I was able to kind of do what I really wanted at the company. So I wasn't restricted to software engineering. I could actually do a lot of product focused roles and also engage with different people and different teams. And I got to know a lot of people at the company, which made it really comforting for me. And I'd say in terms of the connections as well, I got to meet people at different schools. So, you know, people at UPenn, U Waterloo, those were all people who were at my internship. And I think these are connections I'm gonna keep lifelong. So I'd say definitely value those um, networks and that connection. And also, even though the application process seems pretty intense, it seems like the reward is also pretty great with all the different talks that you have with the executives and also the fun events that there are over the summer. So it sounds like you would recommend people to apply to the program. Definitely, definitely. I'd say definitely for someone who wants to take advantage of the network and the opportunities and also meet you know, like-minded people from different parts of the world, I would say this is the perfect program for you. And this is really to kind of set your path into the Silicon Valley. They have the Fellows Investment Program, which I should have mentioned earlier. Basically, they invest 100K in students who are wow. willing to start their own company. But again, this can be any time in the future. You don't have to start it over summer. There are some fellows who actually started their companies before joining the Fellows Program and got the 100K of investment from the Kleiner Perkins partners. 
but you know this is a connection that's lifelong so anytime down the road if you want to start your own company Kleiner Perkins is there to kind of support you and provide the 100k of seed funding and it's a big deal to have Kleiner Perkins backing your company at its very early stages so I think that's one of the biggest perks of this program awesome <laughs> thanks Avantika for joining us here on the Tech Twins and thank you for watching this video if you like this video like the video comment with any questions you have subscribe and turn those notification bells on and with that, see, see you, you next, next time. time. <laughs>